Next mini project is my original ThinkPad. Two things have gone wrong. My replacement screen that I did in a previous video, that has just failed completely. It's just black. And so what I did is it's now a dedicated video playing device that's hooked up via HDMI to my TV. And I play that videos and YouTube and everything. Uh, and I control the mouse and keyboard through a network tool called Input Director, which is amazing. I've got four devices on that and it works great. But the latest problem is with the fan. Um, the fan is making horrible spin up, spin down noises. It's making grinding noises and it actually failed the Lenovo diagnostics. So I went on to um, AliExpress and I found an identical device. Uh, so I ordered it. So let's pop it in and, and make this little ThinkPad a little bit more healthy and get some more life out of it. Okay, this should be a fairly straightforward replacement. Here's the new fan assembly. It's got a, the fan is out on the edge, and then it's got a heat tube that circulates a liquid through here, I believe. <clears throat> this gets bolted down and makes contact with the CPU, and there's a tiny little control cable right here. So, looks pretty good. The first thing we need to do is take the back off, and there's the, the details for you. All right, let's get the back off. Okay, it's not so much that the back comes off, but the uh, the keyboard layer is released from those back screws, and then we can see the inside of the box. And here's our fan. So. Let's dive into that guy. All right, we have successfully removed the old dodgy one. So we've got a little bit of dust in here that I'm gonna clean out. And then we also have to take off the uh, heat conductive material from the top of the CPU. So let's take care of that. Okay, everything's clean. We're going to put it back together in the reverse, but I'm going to put the connector in first before I expose the new heat conductive material and place it down on the CPU. So let's do this gently. Ah, oh, I see. It's got ah, it's got a little latch on the door. Well, that was dumb of me not to know that. These are the things you learn. So I put 
this into place and then I shut the latch down on it. Still not easy. Oh, I think we're in. That could be it. Okay, now I'm just going to try and reseat that again just for fun. See if I can get it in any further. Nope, that's it. So you need to, it's about the white line is right up next to the connector, maybe a millimeter of space. And you're good. That fits in there. And that's going to go there. Okay. So off comes the protective tape. I'm going to put that end in first, and we're going to go straight down onto the screw in points. We'll get them all started, and then we'll go around and Gently tighten them down like the way you do a car tire. Uh, this replacement fan is really well engineered. I like it a lot. And these screws have a definite stopping point. You get there and then you turn it and then it stops and nothing else happens. <clears throat> okay, and that's it. This is just held in by the force of the keyboard lid down on top of it. So I should be able to gently lay this down and then power it up and see what the fan does. Now we're not going to get anything on this screen, so we're just going to hope for fans and beeps and things. Okay, it's powering up. I don't hear the fan yet, but it could be probably thermally controlled. And I've got some background noise. Oh, yep, I can hear it whispering away nicely. Let me see if I can get the camera down there. Excuse the, uh, the video, I'm going for audio now. If that can be heard. All right, so mission successful.